We're at CES 2026 again, and I found one of the more interesting telescope manufacturers that's here at CES, but also one of the more interesting tel telescope manufacturers that just exists in general. Um, they're called Baonis, and I'm here with Javier. Yeah. Hey, Javier, nice Hi. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, and the, what caught my eye was walking by, there's this massive, beautiful thing. Um, what What is this? Can you tell me about this? This is Hyperia. Hyperia, uh, we okay. We call it a smart observatory because Veonis has been building smart telescopes for 10 years now and changing the way to access uh, astrophotography. Yeah. And we wanted to combine our expertise in smart telescopes with uh, professional level performances and technologies. And that's how we built Hyperia. Yeah. So it's a product built in collaboration with Canon. The optics is Canon optics. It's 17 lenses. It's actually a 150 millimeter refractor. Yeah. Uh, and it's what's very cool and quite unique about it is that it's open at four. So it, the, the light gathering capabilities is really, really lightning fast. Yeah. We have a 45 megapixel sensor in the back. Okay. Uh, and the field rotator to allow up to 30 minutes of exposure. Oh, so, that, oh, that makes sense because it's all tests. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And Does then, it have filters? Does it have filtering? There's in there? a filter drawer. Yeah, you can okay. use a, a bunch of filters. It's okay. two inch filter, so it's standard size. Yeah, for full And we frame. use direct drive to guarantee the perfect tracking possible. That's so really it's direct cool. drive with absolute encoders. So is this something that someone can order or is there like a whole installation yeah. process? No, there's, someone can order it, obviously. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the first use uh, for us, the first use case is uh, educational purposes. Oh. Uh, we're looking at institu educational institution, outreach program, yeah. universities, museums. It's yeah. actually going to be plugged in a muse very famous museum in France already. And wow. we're in contact with all observatories that would like to launch outreach programs, for example. That's really uh, cool. But yeah, anyone can install it at home. You just plug it. It has to be level, but yes. you, uh, apart from that. What's the interface like? It's just uh, you connect through it through either Wi-Fi or Ethernet. You can connect and remotely. It's the and the same app as like the It's event. not the same app. Okay, it's, it's the same custom. principle. Okay. It has its own app. Cool. But it's the uh, same thing, kind of plug and play. That is amazing. So... I think we'll transition from something that I don't know that I'll ever actually be able to afford. So now we're going to talk about something that I, in theory, could afford, but now can't buy because I was just informed that this is officially sold out, at least for this specific colorway. So what are we looking at here? It's a Vespera. And okay. It's a limited edition of Vespera. Vespera is our main consumer product at the okay. moment. And we decided to do a limited edition because one of the key points of Veones is making rugged, high quality, high end products. Yeah. And what's very frustrating for us is that when you look at the product itself, you don't see what's inside. Yeah. So it can be compared to anything. Yeah. So we decided to go with an open version where you can actually see everything that's happening inside. The metal frame, you can see the clutch, you have the optical train here with yeah. the sensor in the back. And you can see the quality of the, 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 the build. Yeah. Does it have a dew heater? Yeah, is that what this is? Oh, yeah, that's yeah. cool. You can actually see the like pretty good gauge yeah. wires running to that dew heater. That's amazing. Yeah. So um, how long has the Vespera 2 been out? Like how long has this existed we as a product? We launched it in January 2024. January 2024. Yes. Okay. And it, primarily it comes in like just in a, in a white unit. Yeah, exactly. All white. white unit. Okay. You can purchase it with or without tripod. And, okay. Uh, have you guys done special editions in the past besides this with one? With the Vespera 2, no. No, we, okay. we used to, yeah. Well, there's another special edition we did with Vespera 1 in the past. Okay. It's in the DNA of the company to do limited editions. I for love that. Either in partnership or just to showcase something. Yeah. That's why we wanted to go transparent with this one. It's, That's it's, uh, amazing. So um, can you tell me a little bit about the specs for the Vespera? So what what's the optical tube assembly in here? Yeah, what are the specs a, of that? Do you know? It's a quadruplet. Okay. So it's a... A chromatic quadruplet that you have. Okay. Uh, the sensor is the IMX 585. Which oh, is, the 585. Yeah. That's everyone's favorite new sensor. Exactly. <laughs> That's like, a, the, yeah. it's a great sensor yeah. to have. Uh, so you have a four hours battery. You have okay. 25 gigabytes of storage. Okay. You have a, then well, one of the cool features that you never mentioned, but matter is that there's a clutch in the product. I what saw you move you this actually, and I was like, oh no. Exactly. That's one of the things. <laughs> When you want to keep the telescope, it's warranted for three years. Okay. And when you want to use it in time, you're going to move it. And the it's arm going to happen. Like, and so you yeah. don't want to mess with the, the gears here. Yeah. And so that's why we integrated the clutch to make sure that it, with, with, with the back that's vibrations and clever. everything is going to be okay. You know? Yeah, that's very, very clever. 
Um, so what what is the, what's the mount at the bottom here? What is it like? A, what is it? Quarter inch? Oh, the three quarters. Yeah. So the bigger, the chunkier exactly, one. Yeah. Okay, that's that's probably better. <laughs> it's it's uh, more adapted to video yeah. tripod or third year tripod. That's, that's why we ones. went for that one. Exactly. Yeah. That's cool. Um, and so the it's available in white with or without the tripod. So if yes. you get it without the tripod, you bring your own. You can use your own tripod. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that sounds good. And, um, then, and so for these units, what's the cost for a Vespera 2? The Vespera 2 is at 1,690 euros, okay. 1,690 USD. Okay. Uh, and uh, and uh, yeah, you can purchase it with uh, the high carbon fi fiber tripod for 200 uh, USD more. Okay. For example, and then we have the Vespera Pro that's at 2,990 There's a Vespera Euro. Pro? The Vespera Pro, yeah. I did that's, not know that. That's another version of the product. Okay. Which is more designed for users, more advanced that want to go further and, and like take longer exposure, get more details, more resolution. Is that the pro over there? The one behind, yeah. The one behind, okay. Uh, so the case is the same as the Vespera 2. Yeah. But it comes with a lot more accessories and the sensor is the 676. Oh. To, to 12.5 megapixels, yeah. so it has a lot more pixels and smaller pixels. A lot pixels. smaller pixels. That means that the light gathering takes more time, so yes. it won't be as responsive as the 585, yeah. but you will have more resolution in time. Yeah, exactly. It, uh, it comes with an 11 hours battery, so you can leave wow. it outside the whole night without having to have a, okay. uh, an external battery or yeah. whatever, you know, and it, ha it has a lot of, uh, a bunch of accessories. That and how do these charge? Uh, through USB-C. USB-C? Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Good. I don't. I never want to see products that aren't USB-C anymore. I know. That's it. It's we 2026. Be, with the Vespera 1, we used to have a dedicated magnetic... Yeah. Uh, Years ago, we, that's we fine. To but it's 2026. That. Everything yeah. should be USB-C <laughs> now. Cool. Um, is there anything that you wish people knew about either the Vespera or the Hyperia? Like, what's, is there anything specific that you want to sort of get out there? Now, one cool thing to say is that all those products are manufactured in France. And one very important thing to say is that they're made to last forever. Yeah. We want to make sure that they're very rugged and that you can keep them in time. So you can, we can even, I, those ones are not weatherproof per se, yeah. even though we use them in all weather conditions and leave them outside. Do this happen. one is weatherproof, so you can actually leave it outside for five years and it's okay. It's wow. still going to be okay. I did notice when, what, because I had, I had seen the clear one online, but I'd never actually seen one in person. Uh -huh. And just getting to see like the brass ring gears, like yeah. this is a high quality That's stuff. That's why I say it, it'll, the tracking will remain the same within one year, two years and five yeah. years. We, we made sure that everything was top quality. It's really cool that you guys build these in France. Like nothing wrong with building stuff in China. Most of, well, most of our stuff is. But I really like seeing that there are other countries looking to get into the manufacturing of it. Um, and it seems like you guys have done a really good job. And I, I get now why you did the clear so that you, can, you see, can see what's like, happening it's inside. It's stainless, it's yeah. brass, it's, you know, it's beautifully, beautifully made stuff. This is a statement of the quality of the products that we made. Yeah. And this is a statement of the fact that we are the best smart telescope company in the world. We that do what's higher end. Yeah. It's a, I'm gonna, it's a choice. I'm going to keep an eye on you guys, and awesome. maybe I'll have to go see where this gets installed in France. <laughs> no I'll have problem. to come visit. You're welcome. Yeah. Pleasure Thank to welcome. you very much, Javier. It's a pleasure.